Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about tokenization. We are going to learn the very basics of tokenization in this video and in the future videos, we are going to learn about more advanced methods like byte pair encoding, word piece tokenization, sentence piece tokenizer, so these kind of things. But in this video, uh, I'm going to keep it a little bit basic because we are doing NLP from scratch. So. What is tokenization? When I look for tokenization NLP uh, on Google, I get all kinds of <laughs> results and yeah, people go into very, very details. And they, uh, they, they are not, not really very good examples and don't, don't explain in basic ways. So, uh, even the Wikipedia page is not available in the first page of results. So, uh, this is what tokenization is. Uh, so, Tokenization is you have you have a set of input sentence, let's say, and token what tokenization does is to divide those input sentences into smaller chunks or subwords or words, and these uh, different terms are collectively known as tokens. So if you have a sentence like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, a very famous sentence in English. So each word here is a token. And tokenization can be done in many different ways. So I hope you are able to see my blackboard thing. So what is tokenization? And I I mentioned already dividing words and dividing the sentence into different tokens. So but what does it mean and how we can do that? So and why do we need tokenization? So these are the few questions that uh, uh, usually come to some someone's mind when when they think about a new term or when they learn a new term. So tokenization, so what happens in tokenization is you have an input sentence, let's say your input sentence is hi, then you have a comma, then how are you? Uh, let's say doing today, something like this. And then a question mark. So um, a very simple way to tokenize any sentence would be to just divide them by spaces. So we see like there is one space here, one space here, one space here, 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 and here. Okay, so just divide them by spaces. So what, what do you get? Um, you get hi, and then a comma. This is one token, then you have how are you? doing today and uh, you see like I have also put a space before the question mark so question mark also becomes a new token now what's happening here um, is we have hi with a comma so any kind of machine learning model so le let's say you are building a machine learning model for recognizing positive or negative sentiment. So what, what you do is you have you have a bunch of words and you see a very simple basic model would be to like just to see, okay, are these words present? If they are present, then there is more chance of this sentence being a positive sentiment rather than a negative sentiment or vice versa. So this, this is going to be a very basic simple model. Now let's say that simple model, um, that, that simple model is looking at these words, these different words, right? And all, also known as tokens. So um, it, it's looking at these different words and then it sees, okay, there is word hi. Um, and there is another word, hi comma. And then there is another word, hi full stop. And so on. But we know that all these things that we have here uh, just correspond to a word hi. So in the previous video, we saw how stemming helps us reduce the amount of training data. And that's what tokenization is also doing here. It is helping us reduce the amount of words required to train a machine learning model. That's why we use tokenization. And that's my definition. Um, so. But now we have we have uh, split the words by uh, space, but there can be many different ways of doing this. So one 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 thing uh, this can be achieved very easily in Python by using uh, uh, a function called split on uh, the string. So let's say you have a string and the string is the same. Hi, how are you doing today? 
and this is a string and when, when this is a string um, you can just do s dot split sorry s dot split and you specify space inside uh, this bracket so if you do s uh, or list sl is s dot split and inside those cur uh, in inside those brackets you have uh, quotes and a single space so this is a space it will split on all the spaces so uh, if you have multiple spaces they will also split and you will see some space but um, I, I will also show you this thing in when when we are uh, coding a little bit uh, today uh, not so much but a little bit so this is what you can do if you don't specify or you can specify what do you want it to split by so you can split by slash n which is the new line character or slash t which is the tabs so this these are many different things you can split a sentence by in python uh, so this is one thing and uh, then then you have um, another thing called regular expressions Now I'm not going into details of regular expressions, but when you're doing NLP, you should know a little bit about regular exp expressions. They help you a lot. So uh, there are many, many times like uh, when you're doing entity extraction and you are trying out complicated methods, maybe you don't have to try complicated methods. Maybe you can just use regular expressions. Let's say you want to detect an ID and that ID is start from something. So you can just do simple regular expressions to uh, extract IDs, but let's not go there today. So you have regular expressions and you can say, okay, uh, whenever you see a symbol, you split. So you can, you can use regular expressions to create your own function uh, that uh, uh, tokenizes a given sentence. So I can say, okay, uh, if I have this sentence S, uh, se sentence S, then uh, S dot replace um, all commas by, uh, so y you specify what you want to replace. So comma, and then you specify what you want to replace it by. So let's say I want to, what I want to do is add a space before the comma and add a space after the comma. And this is how I, uh, I want to replace it. But when, when you know regular expressions, you can generalize it very much. So you can probably, you, uh, you can just add uh, this kind of thing for all symbols and uh, symbols that you have in the, uh, in the sen sentence, in the string, sorry. So, so this is another way. So now if you do that, your, your sentence will be high, then a space, then a comma, and then the same thing, how are you, blah, blah, blah. And there will be one extra space here. There was already one space here, we added one more. So there will be one more space. So what you do, you take the sentence and do s dot split. Without, uh, without anything inside. So uh, what it will do is it will split the same thing into tokens. So hi, then another token comma. Then another token, how are you, blah, blah, blah. Question mark will be another token. So this is how you can do very basic tokenization in um, Python. But, uh, and this is like one of the most basic tokenization techniques that you should know about when you're learning about NLP, because this is going to help you a lot. And may many times you can uh, do simple things just by using regular uh, expressions and uh, simple tokenization and you don't have to go very deep uh, into uh, like the, uh, the deep learning models. Maybe you don't. Uh, so let, we, will, we will start from here. We are going to start from the basics. So we are going to start from here. So this is one of the simple tokenization techniques. So let's see if Wikipedia has anything else. Uh, no. Okay. So this is, this is what we have. Uh, simple tokenization technique based on spaces or white spaces. And you can also tokenize sentences the same way. So instead of using uh, s dot split and then nothing inside, just use slash n as I, I have shown you. And then you will be splitting sentences based on the new line token if the new line token exists there. But if, if it's like a full stop or something, then you have to think of uh, some, some, something new, something else. 
okay, sorry, maybe maybe n slash n is only used for paragraphs. So uh, you have to think of something uh, sophisticated when uh, it's uh, um, commas. Okay, sorry, uh, full stops. And now we, I can show you a little bit in Python how to do this. It's pretty simple and easy, but uh, this is what we have to learn. And one more thing, I, I talked uh, last time. I talked about this thing, um, this library called NLTK. And what we are, we are going to do today, we are going to be using NLTK for tokenization because to NLTK can be used for tokenization. It has a, a function called word tokenize which is very powerful and very useful when it comes to tokenization using uh, when you have like mix of uh, some some different characters or numbers or these kind of things so this can be used this word tokenize function um in this video we are not going to look at any, any other library but in the future ones we are uh, so another function uh, another thing maybe i will show you when we do the um coding so let's let's start with coding. So we are in our collab notebook today again. Uh, that would make many people happy. So let's import um, or, or let's not uh, import anything right now. Let's just start. So um, let it allocate me a machine. So I think it's quite fast. Um, okay. So now we have. A sentence so let's say my sentence s is I, I hope this is visible to everyone and maybe I can zoom in a bit more yeah okay my sentence is same let's say hey how are you doing today and there was a space before the question mark so I'm just going to do the same here or maybe not maybe not okay and um, now, uh, what, what I told you was the split function. So just do s dot split with a space here. And now let's see what we get. So we get a list of all the words or tokens um, separated by space. So if you have like two spaces here, then let's see what happens. So now you get a simple space, not, not even a space and empty character um so now you have you've got like two spaces so this single space thing is not working and if you change it to two spaces then you see the to tokenization changes so now you're getting like complete phrase here and separating only by two spaces but okay let's let's not do that um so what what you can do is to to avoid things like this and to also split on all all kinds of new line or uh, tab or any kind of white space let's say you can just do s dot split and then the result is going to be the same as before like when we had only a single space so this is one one of the things that you can do then i talked about regular expressions so you, what you can do is you can write some regular expression so let's write a regular expression uh, that replaces all uh, symbols with the, all punctuations with uh, space. So we have to import re first and then we can do re.sub uh, then the expression here. So r and then you have brackets this thing slash w so what it does is like uh, it's a uh, matching all non alpha numeric characters and you can say replace all of them by a uh, space and look at the variable s which is the sentence so let's see so what it gives us is replacing every comma or question mark all kinds of punctuations and symbols by a space and you can also do split here so now you get all the tokens that you need so, and you can start building a machine learning model um nltk does it in a little bit smart way so we can try to use the word tokenize function from nltk so you can do import nltk and then um ah uh, no so 
from NLTK dot tokenize import word tokenize okay um, now let's see uh, word tokenize we do s the same old sentence that we had okay so it's telling me to download something okay punct so I have to download punct um, okay let me just do it here okay uh, so that's done uh, let's see word tokenize so it's based on many set set of different rules and stuff and it does all the tokenization for you so now you can see it's separating like comma from high and question mark uh, so this is a new token instead of uh, uh, being together with high there are many other tokenization functions in nltk so there is one word punct tokenize and let's see what that does so we will keep the results here and another one here so let's see uh, it's similar so it's very similar but th there is a difference between uh, these two so word punk tokenize that the difference between these two is word punk tokenize is based on a simple on some simple regular expression but word tokenize is based on tree bank tokenizer and what that is will require uh, another lecture uh, but let's not go into much details there um, these methods of doing tokenization are something that you should know about uh, if you want to learn more go to the documentation and there you can learn more um, another one uh, that uh, we have here is sentence tokenize so you can also do sentence tokenization if you want to so i think that is also a part of nltk dot tokenize let me have a look yeah send tokenize so that that can be used for tokenizing sentences so let's see what it does here so it just gives me one sentence and uh, if my sentence is how are you doing today let's see so now you see like it gives me two separate sentences so this is something you can also try to use um, then what what did we have after that so we have like word tokenize which is a tree bank uh, word punk which is a regex tokenizer then we have sentence tokenize for tokenizing sentences we have simple dot split to tokenize by white spaces and we can write our own uh, tokenizer uh, using regular expressions so nltk also offers a regxp tokenizer where you can which which you can use to write your own tokenizer using regular expressions so these are like the very basics of uh, tokenization if i have to if i have to build a simple model I would rather use uh, some tokenizing tokenizers from here that I've shown you today and build a model using some naive base classifier um, for uh, movie review sentiment recognition. So you can start doing that if you want to, or you can wait for the future videos. And in the next part of tokenization, I'm going to discuss about the more advanced techniques that we are seeing these days. So one more thing that I, I would like to mention you here is many many times um, there are many many different words in every language and it's not possible for us to um, build model that understands all the different words um, there can be millions of words right and people also like to combine words together so there are many languages like german and norwegian in which people just like to combine two or three different words together so uh, and those uh, words are not not like uh, in, in uh, not commonly used in the vocabulary and anybody can combine any word together and becomes a new word so how do you handle those cases they can be handled by some sophisticated algorithms like um, byte pair encoding i'm saying sophisticated but in fact it's very easy and i'm going to discuss it in 
the future videos. So byte pair encoding, word piece tokenization, sentence piece tokenizer. So all these things I will discuss in future videos. And um, I think this is it for the basics of tokenizing, tokenization. So thanks a lot and um, for being here. And if you like the video, do click like button and do subscribe and share it with your friends. I don't think anything, there's anything else. So I will see you next time. Bye.